Peeps, you ready to read? This is written by Mark Finley, and he has some quotes by E.G. White. The verse for today is 1 Thessalonians 5, 2 to 6. For you yourselves know perfectly that the Lord, day of the Lord so comes as a thief in the night. For when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them, as labor pains upon a pregnant woman. And they shall not escape, but you, brethren, are not in darkness, so that this day shouldn't overtake you as a thief. You are all sons of light and sons of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as others do, but let us watch and be sober. Truth. <laughs> when Christ came the first time as a babe in Bethlehem manger, very few people discerned his coming. But when he comes the second time, every eye will see him come. Every ear will hear the trumpet blast of his return. Every human being on earth will behold his glory, and we need not be deceived. The scriptures have made the events surrounding his return abundantly clear. One of the most solemn and yet most glorious truths revealed in the Bible is that of Christ's second coming, to complete the great works of the redemption. To God's pilgrim people so long left to sojourn in the region and shadows of death, a precious joy-inspiring hope is given in the promise of his appearing, who is the resurrection and the life to bring home again his banished. The doctrine of the second advent is the very keynote of the sacred scriptures. From the day when the first pair turned their sorrowing steps from Eden, the children of faith have waited the coming of the promised one to break the destroyer's power and bring them again to the paradise. An early Adventist leader, Lauren Luther Warren, used to tell young people the only way to be ready for the coming of Christ is to get ready and stay ready. The message of Christ's soon return is an urgent appeal to each one of us to examine our hearts and evaluate our spiritual lives. It is a call to godly living. There can be no neutrality in the blazing light of the glory of Christ's return. In Revelation, it reminds us that there is going to be great deception towards the end of the life on this earth. And even what they call even the elect will be deceived, which I find that extremely frightening. I'm not the elect, so if the elect aren't gonna <laughs> be prepared, how am I? But we are reminded in the Bible in several places about the return of Jesus. It's not going to be, I mean, I've heard people say, I've heard it on TV and on social media that people have come and said that they are Jesus return and you know these few people start following him and it's like why would you do that it says he's going to come with great trump triumph and great trumpet sound and every eye is going to see him I hope I can maintain my belief and keep going in that direction right here I am popping in again <laughs> I wanted to give you two songs today and I totally forgot. The first one is Ain't Nobody by Cody Carnes and the second one is Waymaker by Leland. Both of those are awesome songs. I highly recommend them to be added to your song list. And back to the regularly scheduled program. I got my book peeps. Good morning Heavenly Father. We're so grateful that you are returning your son to us to save us and take us all to your paradise that you have prepared for all of those mansions that the Bible tells us are waiting for us in your beautiful city. I'm lifting up my peeps, Lord, the ones in the book and the ones that aren't in the book. Help them to be prepared and ready and wrap your love around them. All this I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. That's it, peeps. I hope this finds you absolutely amazing. Stay blessed. 
until next time. Hey, you made it to the end. Please hit like and subscribe and thanks for watching.